Welcome back, all you happy fish hookers out there. We're going to be doing a boat ramp review on Everglades Holiday Park in Fort Lauderdale. Address is 21940 Griffith Road, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33332. This boat ramp is going to be right in uh, the heart of the Everglades, so if you want to see alligators and Everglades things, man, this is your bass fishing haven. This is going to get you right in the heart of it. Um, here you can see we're going to take a right-hand turn off of Highway 27, and we're going to enter the park. This is going to be a long driveway, so you're going to have uh, plenty of time to think about what it is you want to catch, get your lines rigged up, think about life in general, contemplate uh, climbing Mount Everest or what have you in between the turn off and getting to the park. So I'll let you enjoy some of the scenery on the way there and uh, check it out. Might even want to grab you a rum drink. See how long it takes you to slug it down before we finally get to the park. See a little canal on the right hand side there. You can fish all that from the bank if you want to. Hundreds of miles of canals uh, around all the South Florida that you can fish uh, without needing any type of boat or what have you. Crossing over the canal. Now we're at the entrance to the park. Um, you can either go right or to the left. We're going to go to the right. The right is where the uh, tourist area is as well as the boat ramp to the left is going to be where the parking's at for trailers But we'll get to that in a little while So here you see there's ample parking lots of little parking, but no trailer parking. That's one of the things that's going to be um, a Little bit challenging about this ramp up here on the right hand side is where the ramps going to be It's a dual ramp, but unfortunately it looks like they've got one closed down. We'll get more to that You can take a boat ride, there's the restroom facilities, the bait shack is right behind there, as well as a tackle shop and souvenirs and such. So we're going to go ahead and park this truck and we're going to get out and we're going to get a, uh, a little up close and personal with the ramp itself. All right, so here we are looking at this ramp. You can see it's a nice double wide ramp with a little divider down the middle. Um, but like I said, they got that one on the left closed down. It's got plenty of dockage. Um, it's not a very steep ramp. Um, the depth is pretty good. The water is real high. We just had some rain, so uh, this water is, is actually in really good shape as far as depth is concerned. Um, pretty solid, well kept, good dockage like I said, but one of the problems is you'll, you'll notice uh, a little later on in the video as we walk out on this pier, if you gander off to the left hand side, you're going to see, oh, look at this, no fishing from the bridge, no fishing from the docks. Ha, uh, look at all these people fishing on the docks. That's hilarious. So the depth marker uh, or the drop off of the ramp is not marked. That's one of the things you can't see it and it's not marked. So I haven't heard of anybody having any problems with it, but uh, it's one of the things just to, to know. So there's a little fishing pier. And like I said, this is the Everglades. You're gonna have reeds, lily pads, you're gonna have mangroves, you're gonna have all kinds of Everglady. I mean, this is the Everglades. If you wanna fish the Everglades, this is it. You're gonna have largemouth bass haven up in here. You're also gonna have Oscars, chain pickerel, all kinds of different stuff. So you saw all those little boats on the right-hand side over there. That's where they run the tours for the airboats. So you're gonna be competing in the parking lot with a lot of people during uh, all, all days of the week and the weekends especially. This place is a madhouse. Now look at this maneuvering area right here. This is all the room you have. If there's somebody parked in that handicap spot right there, good luck. You Large v vessels are not gonna have a good time in this parking lot, but there are lots of facilities. I mean, this is one of the best facilities as far as uh, amenities. Hell, you can get your photo taken, it's cool, man. Go take you an airboat ride. Go see the Gator Boys uh, do their little Gator wrestling. There's your restrooms and such. Like I said, there's a uh, bait shop. There's additional restrooms, air conditioning, food, all kinds of stuff in that little uh, a little bait shack there. And that's really cool, real nice. 
So, where do you park your truck? Where do you park your trailer? Notice there's not a boat trailer one in this parking lot. And this thing gets all packed up during the summertime and tourist season and what have you. So let's go see where it is you have to park your truck. So keep in mind you got to go up this driveway and we're going to kick off to the right here, go around this little vehicular and bring it down in. Oh, looky, looky. There you go. There's where the trucks and trailers are. But notice all of the orange barricades. There's chain link fence. This is the trailer park, and that's right. I have no idea how many spaces are here. It's, it's not a whole lot, and the whole thing is under construction, so it gets real challenging real quick with anything with any length to it. This turn here is into the parking lot, which is a little challenging, especially with a boat on, on the back or a trailer on the back. And good Lord have mercy, you're, you're willing on, or, or you're relying on everybody to play nice in the sandbox when it comes to parking. Because look at this, there's there's maybe, maybe six uh, trucks and trailer packages up in here. And these spaces are small, tiny. Uh, I'm going to call this 10 spaces at best for some of the premium fishing here in South Florida when it comes to getting into, into Everglades action. So this park is a little, little challenging. So how do we rate this? Well, right now uh, they got one ramp closed. Um, we've got room to maneuvers challenging, uh, 10 parking spaces, maybe, maybe. So the depth of the ramp, it's long, it's deep, it's got uh, a drop off, maybe, I don't know. So that's a little bit uh, challenging. So at the end of the day, um, when it comes to all of the, all of the traffic accessibility and such, uh, how are we going to rate this boat ramp? Well, I'm going to give them a half a half a flat trailer tire uh, for the for the drop off. Uh, one for the number of ramps, one for room to maneuver, one for parking spaces. They're getting three and a half flat trailer tires when it comes to the aggravation scale of this particular boat ramp. So I hope that this helps you. I hope that uh, if you have any questions, by all means, please let me know. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything else you, you want to see, please also let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section. I certainly do hope you like this video. Please subscribe. And at the end of the day, one of my primary functions here is to help you have a better time in your boating adventures. Because at the end of the day, my goal is to make sure that you have another fine day full of fun and adventure. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Captain Matt Weber signing out.